deliverance is not a ministry there is nothing like the ministry of deliverance there is nothing like the ministry of the it is nowhere in the bible genesis to revelation there is no such ministry the spirit of the lord god is upon me yes because the lord has anointed me to preach good times. this is a mission statement of jesus in prophecy and remember jesus did everything and operated according as it was written so this was a prophecy all right read on that prophecy good tidings unto the meek yes he hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted yes to proclaim liberty to the captives yes so liberty to the captives is a proclamation it's not a prayer you don't pray deliverance prayer deliverance is a preaching because deliverance is preached so that man will believe and be saved salvation is deliverance <laughs> you know i was just thinking about this people don't read their bibles honey you know they don't read their bibles i was just walking down this the, the, the corridor in the house just on the way to the car then the holy ghost called my attention to this all these deliverance ministers and ministries that claim they are doing deliverance which scripture says that man is the deliverer no scripture beginning from the shadows to the substance ever attributed deliverance to man no man can deliver another man i'll show you put your finger in isaiah 61 flip to exodus 6 6 let's see the shadow concerning deliverance wherefore say unto the children of israel i am the lord and i will bring you out i i the lord will bring you out from under the bodies of the egyptians which is sin which is a type of sin i will read you out of their bondage and i will redeem you with an outstretched arm and with great judgment and i will take you to me for a people and i will be to you a god and you shall know that i am the lord your god which bringeth you out out salvation out from under the burdens of the egyptians next verse and i will bring you in unto deliverance movement from out into out of darkness into light who is the deliverer god now come with me to the fulfillment colossians 1 12 giving thanks unto who the father which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints where in light this father it is he who hath delivered who is the deliverer the father the father somebody said but it was moses that went and told pharaoh let my people go it is a man of god that goes to tell people your sins have been paid for when they believe that message jesus delivers i'm teaching here but when he came to casting devils out he said this sign shall follow you that believe in my name you shall cast out but for deliverance he is the deliverer but for casting demons out it is one of the elements in the id card of a believer that as you are walking as a believer part of your id card is anywhere demons are making noise out 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 but when it comes to deliverance giving thanks to the father who had delivered us isaiah 61 put up verse 2 for me read on to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord yes and the day of vengeance of our god to comfort all that mourn verse 3 to appoint unto them now, that i mourn. need your intelligent smart self awake now yes to appoint unto them that mourn in zion yes to give unto them beauty for ashes yes the oil of joy for mourning yes the garments of praise for the spirits of heaviness yes that they might be called trees of righteousness yes the planting of the lord that he might be glorified next verse and they shall build the old wastes they shall raise up the former desolations and they shall repair the waste cities the desolations of many generations now go back to verse one because i want everybody to see where i'm looking for to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to them that are bound to to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord and the day of vengeance of our god the day of vengeance of our god 
part of the mission statement of Jesus. Luke 4 17. Jesus now shows up and he now begins to interpret the prophecy of the prophet. Luke 4 17. Read for me. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Esaias. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. Read on. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Yes. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Yes. To preach deliverance. To do what? what do we do to the captives we preach we don't pray deliverance is not a prayer deliverance is not a service deliverance is not a fasting deliverance is not a ministry there is nothing like the ministry of deliverance there is nothing like the ministry of the it is nowhere in the bible genesis to revelation there is no such ministry deliverance is the father's responsibility in the ministries that jesus gave to the church there's nothing like deliverance what ministries did he give to the church apostle prophet evangelist pastors teachers why for the perfecting of the there's nothing like the ministry of deliverance it is human contribution to the work of salvation which is an insult on the finished work of grace there's nothing like that na, 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 hmm. to preach what so deliverance is a preaching it is called the word of faith which we preach it is called the forgiveness of sins unto you the forgiveness of sin is preached acts 13 38 we will come back to look for be it known unto you therefore men and brethren that through this man is preached unto you what the forgiveness of sins to preach deliverance what is deliverance the preaching of the forgiveness of sins it's called the word of faith it's called the word of faith 